y'all welcome back to my channel today we are going to be doing some fast easy breakfast bisquick recipes these are going to be so delicious you're going to want to make these on a weekend and then you can have them all week for when you need to go to work so let's get started To kick us off, we're gonna be making this extremely moist and delicious coffee cake. So to a medium dish, you're going to be adding two cups of Bisquick, and then you're gonna add in two thirds a cup of milk, one egg, two tablespoons of white sugar, granulated sugar, however you wanna say it, and then one teaspoon of vanilla, and then you're going to be giving that a good stir. Now that everything is good and mixed through, I'm gonna go ahead and spray my eight by eight square pan here. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and add in that mixture that we made earlier. And then I'm going to kind of set this to the side because I'm gonna be making the topping for our coffee cake. In a small bowl, we're going to be adding a third a cup of Bisquick, a third a cup of brown sugar, and then a teaspoon, or if you're like me, you can add in a lot of cinnamon. I really like things extra cinnamony. And then we're going to put in two tablespoons of cold butter, and I'm just using a knife and cutting these up into little fine pieces because I'm going to be taking my hands and kind of working with the um, Bisquick mixture here and trying to make it into like little crumbles. Right, and once your um, mixture is kind of crumbly, crumbly like this, then you're going to just put it on top of your um, coffee cake mixture that you did earlier. And then we are going to cook this at 375 for about 15 to 20 minutes just until everything is nice and cooked through. I was actually super surprised that this came out so moist. Um, usually for Bisquick things, I just wasn't expecting that, but it was so, so good. And you can even take some of that crumble and kind of swirl it into the coffee mixture, and that would be really good too. Up next, we have these cheddar sausage biscuits, and these are super handy to have if you are in a hurry and trying to go to work throughout the week. These are really great to have on hand. So we're going to be taking one pound of sausage. We're just gonna brown that up, make sure everything's nice and cooked through, and then we're gonna set that to the side. Okay, and now in a medium-sized bowl, you're going to take three cups of Bisquick mix, and then you're going to be taking all of that sausage that you ground up, also one and a half cups of milk, and then we're going to give that a really good stir, and then we're gonna add in our cheese last after everything is mixed through. Okay, now that everything's mixed through, I'm gonna go ahead and add in two cups of cheddar cheese. You definitely don't have to add in cheddar. Um, that's just what I prefer, and it's kind of what I had on hand. But you can definitely add in whatever type of cheese that you prefer to go with this. I do think that cheddar cheese added a really good flavor and texture to this biscuits. And once it's all done, I'm gonna go ahead and grab a big cookie dough scoop, and I'm just going to lay these out. These make, I think, close to 12 to 15 different biscuits, but I'm gonna cook this at 450 for eight to 12 minutes. You just wanna make sure that those are nice and golden brown on top, and these are delicious. I really, really enjoyed these biscuits. Up next, we're going to be making this delicious breakfast casserole, which was our favorite out of all of these meals. So you're gonna take one pound of sausage and ground that up, 
And then in a medium sized bowl, we're going to be adding in two cups of milk, one cup of Bisquick mix, and then four eggs. And then you're going to give that a really good stir. And don't do like me, don't use a fork, use a um, whisk. Just want to make sure that that Bisquick is not going to get lumpy with that milk. So you definitely want to make sure that you can, um, you have a big whisk to whisk it all together. Okay, now that everything's whisked together, we're gonna set that to the side. I'm gonna spray my nine by 13 pan and I'm gonna add the sausage at the very bottom. And then if you have bacon, you can cook up about six slices of bacon. If you don't have any, it's totally fine. This meal is really, really good without it. I just had some in my fridge that I needed to kind of get rid of. So I just chopped that up and then I'm gonna put that on top of my sausage. And then I have three cups of frozen hash browns that I'm going to sprinkle on top of the sausage and bacon. And then you can season this up however you like. I just put in some salt and pepper, but I definitely think some paprika. Y'all know I love paprika on stuff. I definitely think that paprika would be a really good um, seasoning to add to this. But you can definitely add whatever type of seasoning that you want. Garlic powder would also be a really good. Right, now that your hash browns are on top, I'm gonna add just one cup of cheese. And then after this is done cooking, we'll add in the, um, the other cup of cheese. Once you have your cheese, we're gonna go ahead and pour that mixture on top. And this is what it's gonna look like. I am gonna cook this at 400 for about 30 minutes. Just wanna make sure that middle is nice and cooked through. And then here, I'm just putting it on that, uh, the, the other cup of cheddar cheese that I was talking to you guys about. Um, you definitely don't have to add in extra cheese, but it makes this meal even more delicious. I like to put some salsa on top of my hash brown casserole. Um, we usually have this with some fruit, some apples and oranges, I believe is what we had with this meal. Okay, the last uh, breakfast that I'm gonna be making here is some sausage breakfast muffins. So I'm gonna need another pound of sausage with this. I'm gonna ground that up until it's nice and brown and crumbly. And then after that's done, we're gonna go ahead and drain it and I'm gonna set it to the side. All right, now in a medium sized bowl, we're gonna crack four eggs into it and then we're also going to put in a third a cup of milk one cup of bisquick and then one cup of cheddar cheese we're going to just dump all that in there and we're going to give it a really good stir um i did want to note that you definitely want to use a whisk with uh, this just because when you're mixing with bisquick it can be kind of lumpy and you definitely want to make sure that that all gets stirred through properly Once everything is added and stirred through properly, we're gonna take our cupcake pan and we're going to give it a really good spray because we definitely don't want those to stick to the pans. This is just one of those things that can stick really easily. This should make about 12 muffins. And then we're gonna go ahead and cook this at 350 for about 18 to 20 minutes, just until everything's nice and cooked through and it's golden brown. And here's what it should look like after they are all done. And these are really good. It's one of my daughter's favorite things that I make for her for breakfast. Thanks for watching this video. I hope that you enjoy this content. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you do enjoy me making um, breakfast recipes and consider subscribing below if you haven't already and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.